Hi right guys, welcome along to another edition of Build with A&E. So recently we passed 20,000 subscribers, so a huge thank you to all of you who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button after you've watched this video. So today we are on our Regency renovation project and we've got something really, really exciting for you. It is virtual reality. We've got our good friend Jeff Smith from Jeffrey Jordan Architects and what he's done is made an amazing render of the inside of this kitchen. The kitchen is nowhere near ready yet. Yet, but what he's done is using plans from the client he's actually come up with an amazing render of what this kitchen will look like when it's finished in all its glory so stay tuned and watch the video and get ready for the big reveal so Jeff we're using this virtual reality can you tell us a little bit more about it yeah so VR it's a simulated experience in this case it's the real world but people may have seen it on games we're gonna simulate building that we're in. We're going to use a few different bits of software. We're using a laptop and a headset today, but the headset is your main part of the VR. That gives you the virtual experience. The headset's the main part and it tracks your movement. So with this piece of kit, you can get smaller headsets that sort of you can't move around, but we're using an Oculus Rift today. And that's quite a powerful bit of kit. So you can actually walk around and it'll track your movements. You can look under stuff, you can move all over the place, you can fly, you can do all sorts. So it will feel like you're actually in the kitchen. Yeah, around it. yeah. So you'll feel fully within the space, whereas you're not, you're not just sort of looking at it from afar. So it's fully in depth for a full experience. What sort of software do you use? It's, it's BIM software, I assume, yeah? So we use Revit by Autodesk, and we use that to model it, and it's BIM, as you said. And then we use a plugin called Enscape, and that's a real-time renderer. So you can look at it on the screen and make any adjustments in the real time. So if, when we get the headsets on, and it gives instant feedback from, from the client. So we can look at any project, look at different floor finishes, look at different wall colors, move items around, and it, it, there's no waiting around. We're, we're on it straight away. So that's that's the beauty of this, this software. So it gives the client a really good insight into the kitchen before it's been there. So if they want to make any changes beforehand, it's obviously a lot cheaper to do that rather than go, actually, I want it repainted this color or? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a great piece of technology for interaction with the client. So they can fully immerse themselves within the design, review every part of it. There's no sort of surprises that are going to come along because you've, you've already been in the design. You've you can, already seen it, haven't you? You, you, yeah, you can yeah. see it from every angle, whereas sort of a, t a traditional 2D plan or just looking at it on paper, you don't quite get the full sense of of what's being built and although you have an idea of what the spaces are going to be like it can still be surprising when it when it comes to the actual build you kind of got to use your imagination a little bit haven't you with something like that yeah yeah traditionally i guess the main way people designed and had interactions is just on paper and and that's been a great way of doing it because a client anyone can grab a pen and scribble on a plan and say I don't want to do this, I want to do that, have a sketch or whatever. Yeah. And then since design sort of moved on to computers and computer-aided design, it's become less interactive, it's a bit more specialised, so people are less, less involved. But now with VR especially, it really allows that interaction with anyone, the client, the contractor, other consultants, and everyone can see the different parts and you, you can go through everything, which is the beauty of it. Yeah, I mean, it's got some really great implications in the building industry, especially, hasn't it, really? I mean, you could literally design a whole house and effectively walk through the whole house, couldn't you? Yeah. Before it's even out of the ground. So, do you want to show us the goggles, see what they're all about? Yeah, sure. So this is the Oculus Rift S. This is what you'll put on over your head. We can adjust it so that it's the right fit. And then this will take you into the VR world. There's a couple of handsets that you can control as well. So although you can put this on, move around and walk, you can use controls if you're in a bigger room or a house teleport around. To so move you around rather than having to walk around. Yeah, yeah, area. so it can be quicker and also fly. So interestingly, if you don't get too sick, you can go up outside the building, have a full walk round in the air, look from above, look from every oh, wow. angle. And there's also some other settings in this which we'll probably delve into once we get this on have a look at the different daytime settings. Within here we can capture images, we can look under stuff, we can do all sorts. So there's, there's a bit more to see once we've got it on. Sounds really exciting. Can't wait to have a look. So Julie, you yeah. are not only the client on this building, you are also the interior designer for it. Yes. So one of these amazing things that you've come up with are these. 
the mood boards, which have been really helpful when we've been doing the rooms. So can you explain a little bit about the thinking behind these? Yeah, absolutely. With clients, I would always do a mood board, concept board, just so they get a feel for the style that we're looking at for the room. We'll take inspirational pieces, ideas that they're like. I'm the client in this case, so I'm no different. My husband obviously has to have a say-so, so I can't just have carte blanche. So yes, for the kitchen, this was the mood board that I created and gave us the feel that well, we were looking yeah, for in yeah. this space. It's a big room, very high ceilings, and you know we wanted to reflect some of the tradition of a Georgian Regency-style house, but also put my own mark on it. Brilliant, okay. So where did you get your inspiration from for these various components of the room? I think initially it's the colours. So with this one, I knew that we wanted to use a dark green, very much wanted green against a, a nice light background and sort of took it from there, like nature, the outdoors. We're going to sort of use colour, whether it be from sort of planting and plants, which are very relevant now. We found some hand-painted wallpaper from Barry Spence, which we absolutely love. And I wanted to fit that in somewhere. So it's good that, you know, even if I can only afford a small bit, as maybe a client would be able to, to see where it's going to go. I love French styling as well. And I felt that this Regency house would, it would go perfectly. take that yeah, perfectly. Definitely. So we've managed to source some lovely bits and pieces from vintage websites right. uh, of interior. This is the one floor and room that I'm going to be allowed to have brass in its fittings. So we found great Perrin and Rowe fittings. And of course, the architectural do some great fittings as well for the kitchen. So yeah, it's just pulling it all together. So this gives an overall picture of how I imagine the kitchen is going to Look. To look like and feel, yeah, yeah brilliant. Yeah. From this then has Tom from Monkey Wood been shown the mood board, so yeah. he's got a bit more of a feel of exactly what you're after as well? Yeah, Tom was great. I sort of explained what I was looking for. We've got, as I say, very high ceilings, so I wanted cupboards that really were impactful and reach right up. He translated exactly what was in my head and did some drawings for me. And then from that, he's seen this and we're working together. So it's you know very much a sort of an ongoing, gradual thing, but we're, we're sort of pulling all the ideas together and hopefully, you know, we'll get that sort of Parisian Regency mashup yeah. and it'll look great. It will look amazing, <laughs> I should imagine, definitely. Well, do you want to see exactly how it's going to look? I'd be really excited yeah, to. Yeah, before it's in? Absolutely, yes. Cool, let's yeah. have a go. Julie, are you ready to go into your kitchen? I certainly am. Yeah, I'm okay. very excited. Right. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. I'm actually in my new kitchen. It's just phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. Those tall units look awesome, don't they? Yeah, they do. They really do. Yeah, it absolutely has the feel I wanted it to. Really lovely. Are you happy with the choice you made? Yes, I am. You don't want to change the colour? No, you can no. change it if you <laughs> want to have a look at it change, but no, it's... You're sticking with the green? I'm sticking with my green, yes. Definitely sticking with my green, yeah. No, it's a very good choice. I love all the marble tops. You just get a feeling for the scale of the room and the design. And yeah, it's all the new fittings and fixtures, even though you know the scale of the room, because yes. we're, we're in it at the minute, and yeah. you know the scale of a, a standard kitchen worktop and units, but putting it, the two together in a virtual reality, is, it gives you a whole different perspective. No, this, this is certainly you know, something that clients would absolutely love to see. It's probably in there a cost saving actually somewhere, yeah. making expensive mistakes. Exactly. You're going to find exactly what they want as well. Yeah. It's not, there's no maybes or ifs, I'm not sure about this choice or that choice. No. They can see exactly what they want, can't they? Yeah. They can make the choices before it's, before it's in there. And uh, even though you've got the headset on, we can obviously, we're, we're watching what's going on and so you can, you can sit down with the family and go through, you might have mum with the headset on but all the kids looking at the screen saying like no, I don't like that. <laughs> I want to change this. Yeah. No, I mean just from this I can see that, you know, sort of obviously having the Argo and the opposite the hob on the island, that is good, that's a good decision that we've made. I mean it's got great sidelines going through so it's absolutely spot on. Do you want to have a look how the lights 
moves throughout the day within the kitchen. That would be great, yes, please, because this is a north facing room, so. But, yeah, so you can see the evening sun is going to come in. It's interesting to see the height of the ladder. <laughs> certainly works. It's lovely. It's so bright. It's just bizarre. It's a big room, isn't it? And even though you're filling it with big units and the big island, it still feels like a lot of volume and a lot of light coming into them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, no. the unit's really tall. It's not overpowering, is it? So you've still got plenty of space in here. Plenty of, yes, plenty of space. And it's it will flow very well, but it's just so nice. It's all right looking at, as I say, 2D pictures or even CAD models, but it, it's mm. not the same as experiencing this. It's very bizarre because obviously nothing is real, but it feels as though you should be able to touch it. <laughs> no, it's, it's a phenomenal piece of kit. It really does feel as though you can touch everything. Definitely very excited now. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Back in the real world. It feels weird, Keith. No, your kitchen's gone. Yeah, where's my kitchen? Uh, I demand my kitchen back. It, it really is a brilliant piece of kit. It's, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, see why people want to stay in there. Yeah. So really live it. It would be nice from having some of the, uh, the raw reality of the first fix. Yeah. No, I mean, it would be phenomenal to do a whole project like this. Mm -hmm. And I guess for you guys as well to be able to see it rather than just have five little pictures on the wall. And it's great for sort of each sort of consultant or stage of the design. So our structural engineers and architects yes. working together for the main volumes, but then interior design as well is perfect for it. For yeah, the choices. Um, so it brings the whole design team together and the contractor, and you can get a brilliant product. Or possibly a better product from reviewing it and interacting so much Definitely. with the design early on. I mean, it's the next level, isn't it, yeah. of design, it really is. So, Jeff, thanks for coming along and showing Judy exactly what her new kitchen's going to look like. It really is amazing. It's great technology and hopefully we'll see more of it in the future, hopefully from you as well with a few more collaborations. So, how can the viewers follow your work? Have you got any social media platforms or anything like that? Yeah, thanks, John. It's been great to show Julie the VR experience and yourself. Um, you can follow us, jeffreyjordanarchitects.co.uk or on Instagram, which is at jeffreyjordanarchitects. Uh, we do a virtual handshake, virtual reality. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, guys, you have seen what the finished products will look like. Over the coming months, we will bring you the entire process of the kitchen installation so you'll be able to see just how close Jeff's rendition of the kitchen was. Julie looked really excited to see what it's going to be like as are we. If you like the video please like, comment and subscribe. You've been watching me John from Build With A&E. Until next time stay safe. <laughs>